why is it that South Australia would want to stay GM free when Western Australia, Victoria and New South Wales have allowed the growing of genetically manipulated canola that can be sprayed more often and at higher doses with the herbicide Roundup? That's the burning question. The current moratorium on genetically manipulated crops in South Australia, in fact under the current regulations, is not due to expire until the 1st of September 2019. This is a valuable asset to this state. Clean, green, GM-free food. But there are some uh, present realities that require our action, and that's why the uh, GM-free Australia Alliance has just had its annual gathering here over the weekend in this building. The present challenges to GM-free status here, of course, are the fact that some GM canola is being grown in Victoria, and some canola is uh, non-GM canola is delivered over the border into South Australia to silos in Francis. There are, under some exemptions from the current regulations, field trials by Bayer Crop Science and also by some researchers at the University of Adelaide in this state. So we need to keep an eye on those as well. And thirdly, we're now learning that some of the canola seeds supplied to conventional growers, which purports to be GM-free or non-GM, uh, does actually contain genetically manipulated seed. Now, while most of the grain grown in South Australia is not canola, um, it's probably somewhere around 5 or 8 per cent, depending on what farmers are growing each year. And so there are issues and challenges to this GM-free status. And uh, this is why we've convened this meeting, to highlight why uh, there is such, um, and this is such an important and valuable asset to this state. At the moment, the discount for growing and delivering GM canola in Australia is around $50 a tonne. That's to say that the non-GM is in such strong demand internationally and in Australia that it's fetching about $50 more than the GM varieties. This is a fantastic asset to farmers as well as shoppers who want to know and understand, particularly through labelling, that uh, what's in the food supply.